first question you need to ask is what are the benefits of having good quality silage on the farm? The first thing I would say is that it reduces the amount of meal that cattle will eat uh, while being housed during the winter months. And the second thing is it will result in a weight gain of 0.6 kilos per head per day during this period. If you put that into a period of 150 days uh, over the winter months, uh, this equates to a weight gain of 90 kilos. With the rising cost this spring, it's important to complete a further budget for next winter to calculate the amount of silage you need to determine the number of acres you need to close. Target to cut your silage uh, before the 20th of May, as this will help you to achieve um, a DMD of 75% plus. Um, each uh, one week delay after this uh, in cutting your silage will result in a drop of 2-3% to uh, DMD in the quality of your silage. Aim to graze off all your silage ground as this cleans off any of uh, poor quality grass which is grown during the winter months as this can result in a drop of the DMD of up to between 5 and 7 units. Apply 2,500 gallons of slurry per acre. Cactus slurry has a good balance of N, P and K, which is nitrogen, phosphorus and potash. By using a trailing shoe or a dribble bar, um, you will get an extra 3 units of nitrogen per 1,000 gallons of slurry applied. 7 to 10 days later, apply 50 to 60 units of nitrogen per acre of straight nitrogen to ensure the combined nitrogen of the crop from slurry and chemical nitrogen is 80 units per acre. Aim to cut uh, silage during the dry weather and allow to wilt for between 24 to 36 hours before making bales or drawing into the pit. To summarise, um, good quality silage results in good weight gains in cattle during the housing period over the winter months and to target a, a silage a quality of 75 DMD aimed to cut before the 20th of May.